Can you tell us a bit about that? So, and so my real focus in this visit was not about the deal. My real focus was about reversing Iran's aggression in the region, namely getting them out of Syria, all of Syria. That's what I spoke about. And I have to say that I found uh, considerable agreement on that. Goal. In all three countries? Yes. And uh, how are they to get out of Syria? First of all, I asked them. The man. Also, we have to recognize that we are not going to let Iran entrench themselves in Syria in order to achieve their declared goal. When I say declared, <coughs> we declared it and again three days ago to destroy them. So they want to stockpile weapons, uh, lethal weapons in Syria to be able to fire rockets and all of this one. And uh, we're not going to sit there and wait for that to happen. So we're taking action against that. So we we'll continue to do that. So the world can expect a continuous, uh, uh, continuous military action by Israel against Iranian positions throughout Syria? If they continue to entrench themselves militarily, and they're doing it not to fight Daesh, ISIS. Daesh is gone. It's finished. They're doing it as they openly say they're doing it, <clears throat> in order to uh, attack Israel with a view of destroying it. I think if we've learned anything from history, including British history, is you don't let, you don't accommodate an aggressive regime that is taking territory, uh, is building up armaments with the view of uh, conquering it. You take action against them early on. Bad things should be opposed at their beginnings, not after they become horrendously dangerous. And do you think that the three countries with, uh, with which you've been talking this week will accept um, uh, such, a, such a level of Israeli engagement? In this well, they, they've backed us up, actually, against Iranian aggression, I have to say, and I'm very glad to have heard when Iran fired missiles at us from Syria, and we took action against Iran, the European position actually was very supportive, and I appreciate that. And I think it makes sense. It's also something that is shared, this uh, opposition to Iran's aggression throughout the Middle East is shared by us and just about all the Arab states. So, you know, when, when Arabs and Israelis agree on something, you know, it's worth paying attention because we must know something. Uh, and we do know that Iran has to be opposed for the future of peace and stability and security in our region. Uh, I didn't find opposition to that proposition. And I think that if we, you know, if we all agree on the goal of getting Iran out of Syria, then I think there's a chance of achieving it. You know, my experience is you, you can get someplace if you know where you're going. And I think just plotting that goal is the first step of achieving it.